We are now in Milan's financial district, as remarked by the imposing facades of the headquarters of banks and insurance companies. With a five minutes walk, you can reach Piazza Fari with the Milan Stock Exchange, Italy's most important and one of the most important in Europe, with London, Frankfurt, and Paris. In front of the Stock Exchange lies one of Milan's most controversial monuments by the famous Italian contemporary artist Maurizio Catalan. I won't anticipate what it is, I just suggest you go there and then make your own opinion about it. Piazza Corduzio is connected to the Duomo Square by a short pedestrian street where you can find one of the few remains of the medieval Milan, the Palazzo della Ragione, which was built in 13th century to host the meetings of Milan's self-government. Underneath the palace there is an open vaulted space which was used as an open-air market and has an interesting architectural feature you should try. If you whisper near a column, another person can hear you whisper from the opposite column. Quite a useful feature for secret communications between merchants. Near Piazza Corduzio, you will find one of the hidden gems of Milan, the beautiful Pinacoteca Ambrosiana, one of the most important art museums in the whole region. Here you can find artworks by the most celebrated Italian painters like Botticelli, Caravaggio, Leonardo da Vinci, the beautiful portrait of a musician, and Raffaello. In the Pinacoteca you can also visit one of the halls of its celebrated library, which was one of the first public libraries in Europe. The library owns the most important and comprehensive collection of original drawings by Leonardo da Vinci, the Codex Atlanticus. Before leaving the area, I'd like to point out another hidden gem of Milan, the small church of Santa Maria Presso San Satiro on the left-hand side of Torino Street, leaving the Duomo Square behind you. Here you can find one of the most imaginative architectural tricks in the history of architecture. The impressive trompe l'oeil designed by Renaissance architect Donato Bramante to simulate a nave where he did not have a physical space to build a real one. Don't be discouraged by the difficulty of finding the small church in the busy Torino street. You'll thank me afterwards. <laughs>